Hey guys, once again, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to study class 7 mathematics. I am Shurujit De and you are watching my YouTube channel Econometrics De. No drama, no confusion, but only education. This could be us. So back to what I was saying. So class 7 students, today we are going to study chapter 1 in teachers. We are going to understand, we are going to solve exercise 1.2. A few sums are left and today's part is part 5. I think you were eagerly waiting that when we will complete exercise 1.2. And today only we are going to complete 1.2. So let's get started. Now question number 4. Find the quotient in each of the following. So we have to find out the quotient and from A to F the sums are given. So one by one we are going to solve it. Okay. So now this is the sum. This thing I can write like this way. Minus 105 by 21. Now, you can cut it, okay. So, if you want to cut, you can directly also cut 21, how much are 105. And if you don't know the 21 table, so what you can do, you can cut with 3, 3, 7 are 21. And upside also, 3, 3 is 9, 1 left, 15, 3, 5 is 15. Now, 35 and 7, again you can cut. 7 1s are 7, 7 5s are 35, so minus 5 and this is the answer. Those who want to cut it directly with 21, see 21 5s are, 5 1s are 5, 5 2s are 10. So directly also you can do it, okay. Now next one, number B here. So we will write this one minus 90 in the numerator and minus 15 in the denominator. Now, both minus minus will cut. Now, 15 table, if you know, 15, 6, uh, see, 15, 6, uh, 6, 5, uh, 30, 6, 1, uh, 6, 7, 9, 90. You can cut it with 6. If you don't know, okay, 15 table, then 5 table, you know, 5, 3 is uh, 15. Now, here, if you cut, 5, 1 is uh, 5, 4 remainder, so 40, 5, 8 is a 40. Okay. Now again you can cut 3 1s are 3, 3 6s are 18. So what you get? 6 and this is the answer. If you can cut directly, that is also correct. That also I have shown you. If you cannot, you break it and cut it. Okay. Now next one. This one. In the numerator, I will write 1, 7, 2, 8. In the denominator, minus 12. Clear? Now, we will cut. Okay. Suppose we will cut with 2. 2, 6 are 12. Now, 2, 17. So, 2, 8 is 16. 1 extra will come here. 12. 2, 6 is 12. Okay. Again, 8 is there. 2, 4 is 8. Okay. Again, we can cut with 2. 2 3s are 6, this one will cut, 2 4s are 8, 2 3s are 6, 2 2s are 4, okay. Now again we will cut with 3, 3 1s are 3, 3 1s are 3, 1 remainder, so 13, so 3 4s are 12, again 1 remainder, 3 4s are 12. So what you get, one, minus 144. And this is the answer. Clear? Understanding or no? I think you can see this one. 3 1s are 3 1s are 3, 1 extra. So it becomes 13. So 3 4s are 12. Again 1 extra. So again 12, 3 4s are 12. So minus 144. Now here, minus 243. And downside denominator 9. So we can cut it di directly also. Or if you cannot, you do 3, 3 is a 9. 3, 24 is there. 3, how much are 24? 
थ्री एट जार ट्वेंटी फोर अगेन थ्री वन जार थ्री क्लियर अगेन यू कैन कट थ्री वन जार थ्री थ्री टू जार सिक्स सेवन एट टू एक्स्ट्रा क्लियर नो सो ट्वेंटी वन सो थ्री सेवन जार ट्वेंटी वन सो वट यू गेट माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन ओके एंड दिस इज द आंसर क्लियर नाउ नेक्स्ट दिस वन in the numerator i will write minus 810 and here minus 9 minus minus cancels so this one i think you can do directly see 9 and 810 so 9 ones are 9 9 9 j 81 and then 0 will come so what you get 90 clear now for this one minus 126 by 18 okay so this also if you can do directly okay if you cannot you can cut with 9 two nines are 18 two sixes are 12 two threes are 6 so 9 and 63 9 table you know 9 ones are 9 9 sevens are so what you get minus 7 and this is the answer so i think question number 4 a b c d e f you have Now, students, understood if okay. you like this video if you really like my channel and if you want to study with me you want to learn from me then i would like to request all my students that please give a like share it among your friends and groups and your classmates also and don't forget to subscribe my channel because your subscription will really motivate me to make in future more videos okay and don't forget to press the all notification okay. bell so that whenever i will upload such videos you will get the notifications now first. students we are going to understand and we are going to solve question number 5 5 is very easy fill in the blanks okay so you can see what is written here minus 9 into 0 into 13 equal to dash okay now if you see nicely zero is there zero you multiply with anything will be zero only so minus 9 into 0 will be zero zero into 13 will be also zero so when zero is there when multiplication is there then zero multiplied with anything will be zero only so the answer will be zero clear now see here minus 1 into minus 1 into 1 the so 1 into 1 1 into 1 1 only Are minus into minus is plus. Okay, so the answer will be only plus one. So we will write only one. Okay, then next one dash divided by twenty six equal to one. Now this sum we can do in many ways, but what I will I want to say that dash divided by twenty six equal to twenty uh, is equal to one. Okay, now divided by when it changes the position like equal to 1 is there now here divided by 26 now if it goes that side okay then it becomes multiplied clear no when it shifts from left side this is left hand side this is right hand side so from left side if it goes to right hand side then division will become what multiplication okay so how much it comes 26 only so the answer will be here 26 okay clear now this one minus 15 divided by 15 so in the numerator we'll write minus 15 divided by 15 okay so 15 ones are so you will get what minus 1 so what will be the answer here minus 1 clear now next one again another one see written here what divided by minus 13 equal to minus 1 now if i change the side minus 13 if it goes that side then divided by when it goes that side minus 1 is there multiplied with what minus 13 okay divide will become multiply so minus into minus plus and 1 into 13 13 so the answer will be here what 13 clear
clear now this one this is the normal sum okay minus 35 let me do here minus 35 in the numerator and denominator is what minus 1 minus minus cancels so 35 by 1 135 are or 35 by 1 1 we don't write so it will be 35 only so the answer will be 35 so question number 5 fill in the blanks all the fill in the blanks we have done and I have shown you the rough also okay because the concept is very important okay you must know the concept okay because concept is the power okay now we will move on to the now next we are going to solve question number six find the absolute value of each of the following so already you know about absolute value so how to start the sum now here this is the question now when you are starting suppose answer when you are writing you have to find out the absolute value of this one so first you have to put the absolute value sign okay and then that is the symbol you have to put and then in 6 into minus 12 should be inside the absolute value symbol now after that again absolute value now plus into minus minus 6 into 12 you can write 72 if you don't know you can multiply in the rough okay 6 2 is a 12 1 6 1 is a 6 7 see 72 coming and what we told what I have taught you that anything comes outside from the absolute it will be positive only so it will be 72 and this is the answer now number B answer if I want to write the answer okay because we cannot start with this one okay we have to put the absolute value listen nicely students okay this is the most important thing okay you have to put the absolute value and in the inside the absolute value then you have to write minus 9 into minus 19 okay only writing this one and don't if you are not putting the absolute value symbol then you it will be wrong okay either you put this symbol or you write in words the absolute value of minus 9 into minus 19 equal to then you have to put this absolute value sign two ways are there okay so better this is the easiest one now absolute value okay so absolute sign i have a symbol i have given now minus into minus plus now 9 into 19 you can do rough okay 9 9 is a 81 9 1 is a 9 plus 8 17 so what you get 171 and anything comes out from absolute it will be positive only 171 is the answer clear now we will come number c come to number c here it is telling absolute value of this one here divide sign is there so first you put the absolute symbol then minus 81 okay the bracket i have put out i have to put outside okay divided by 9 clear now again the absolute symbol now this one will write in the numerator this one in the denominator so you can cut 9 1 the 9 9 9 the 81 so minus 9 absolute and then what you get only 9 and this is the answer clear now for this one answer first you have to put the absolute symbol okay and then you have to write this thing inside minus 169 divided by minus 13 okay clear now what we will do we will put the absolute sign in the new matter minus 169 minus 13 minus minus cancels 13 13 is a 169 so what you get absolute 13 okay and it will be how much only 13 and this is the answer clear understand no and if you think that how it is coming see 13 into 13 you multiply 3 3 is a 9 3 1 is a 3 
one three is a three, one one is a one, see, one sixty nine coming. Clear no? So I think you have understood question number six, absolute value, and this will come in the exam also. Whoever sets the question paper will give one question uh, from absolute value. Find the absolute value. So you practice nicely. You can pause the video. Okay. You can write it down. Again, you can play. Again, pause. Okay. Again, repeat. Okay. And you will understand the sum nicely. Now we will solve question number seven, the last sum of this exercise. What is the product of six negative and twelve positive? Six negative and twelve positive integers. Okay, very easy sum. Okay, but you have to understand the concept. You are going to multiply six negative and twelve positive. So positive things when you multiply, it is positive only. Okay, so. We should not worry about the positive one. We have to see six negative integers are there. Okay, now six is what odd number, na even number. It is even. Okay, and if it is even, so six times negative numbers you are multiplying. Okay, integers you are multiplying. So if the if it is six, okay, even, then. If it is even number, then the sign will be always positive. Okay, so it will be positive. The answer will be positive. Clear? Understanding or no? If it was five negative integers, five is odd number, then the sign will be negative. But it is even. Six is an even number. Okay, so six negative integers when you multiply with twelve positive. Or whatever positive integers, so the answer will come in positive only. Okay, so those who have not watched the previous parts, that is part one, two, three, four, you can watch it, and then only you can understand this part five. Okay, because step by step I am uh, teaching you along with the concept, so that if your concept is strong. Then any sum you can solve it like this only. Okay, very easily you can solve it. Clear? So I think question number seven you have understood. Now keep on practicing. One point one is over. One point two is also over. So make a solid. Okay, practice in one point one and one point two. So thank you for watching my video. Keep smiling. Keep practicing. Bye bye.